I would like to uh, kind of go over the ignition perspective modules in, in more detail. Um, you know, the module is uh, adds a lot of flexibility and adds a lot of power to ignition. And we, you know, from the very beginning, built perspective with security in mind. So first, let's talk about the, the purpose of the perspective module, which we released last April. Perspective is all about making easier than ever to turn data into action. It's an ideal tool for building mobile first applications that are native HTML5 and CSS. Perspective lets you design applications for, for any uh, screen size. You can streamline your development process with, with robust design components. You can design for mobile, desktop, and display uh, screens at all at the same time. And you can easily customize user experience with mobile optimized container types. Perspective puts your manufacturing and plants operations at your fingertips. You can run it on any modern browser, and that could be on phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, TV screens, or you know, any smart device that has a modern web browser. You can see your, your entire system at a glance. You can control it with intuitive touch commands, and you can complete instantaneous plant for control with bidirectional data binding. Perspective lets you add the magical versatility and convenience of mobile devices to your applications by leveraging the native apps for iOS and Android. With that, it's the wrappers around the browser that lets you leverage the GPS, accelerometer, camera, barcode scanner, you know, touch gestures, and many others that the phones can provide. You can create the next generation of smart industrial applications by extending it to those devices. Perspective runs on any device. You can easily deploy an unlimited number of Ignition Perspective sessions from any location with a single click. The licensing model for Ignition is unlimited, and that goes for everything. And it's easier than ever to get a Perspective session open. Open. Simply open your browser, point it to a, a URL of your server, and you have the application available. You can even send secure web links to your applications that anyone can use um, and, and click on to get access to it in their browser. Along with all these mobile-first capabilities, we built the Perspective module from the ground up with modern cybersecurity in mind. It supports industry-leading protocols and standards. It's compatible with many federated identity, identity providers, such as OpenID Connect and SAML, and we're going to go into more detail on those. It supports two-factor authentication and has a permissions model that allows you to secure Perspective apps with flexibility and ease. So I want to take a, a, a deeper or closer look at how Perspective was constructed. We don't often get to go through uh, some of the underpinnings of how Ignition is, is built, but I think it's very important to understand that to really get a sense of how Perspective was built with cybersecurity in mind. And if you can, this is how you can, you know, can contrast this to any uh, kind of traditional client that communicates to the server. So with Perspective, we are simply using our browser to open the application, and we're, we're going to a URL, an IP address, or a host name of the server to get access to that. And the entire application is running there in the web browser. You know, you're very familiar with this by going into, you know, to any cloud application or, or, or web application that you may have, um, and, you know, you're seeing all of that interacting with that in your browser. Of course, that session, though, in the browser is communicating back to that server you know, to get information. That's no different here for perspective. But the, with perspective, it's very limited in what it, how, and how it can interact with the Ignition server. So when you open up an application you built, typically the first thing you're going to do is go and log in. You're going to establish a session with the server so we can like, verify who that person is before we can grant any access to any data. Once we've established that session, basically the entirety of that application is it lives on that ignition server uh, from the the page that we're on to all of the components the properties uh, all the events everything that's gonna all the model of that uh, of that screen will be represented in that session and uh, you as you can see in the diagram here there are only two points where the actual session interacts with the ignition server and that is one for synchronizing properties so you know if we have a, a tank level that is bound to a tag. We want to make sure that as that tag changes, that we synchronize that property to the browser so that, of course, we can see the proper level indicate there. Or vice versa, if I were to go and write to a tag to change a set point, that we want that we want to let the ser server know that, hey, um, I've changed this particular value. And we only do that through property syncs. And it's a really important distinction here 
because once we synchronize that property, there's a whole layer uh, or sets of layers that are there to protect whether or not that can actually occur down to the device. So there's a lot of protected things that ignition, the ignition server is, ta is talking to. Things like PLCs uh, or other devices, databases that it's working with, other ignition servers through the gateway network, of course, the operating system itself, uh, any of the projects or files that may exist on there. There's a lot of uh, things that the server is, is talking to, and you want to protect those connection points as much as possible. And so we don't want to expose any of that to the actual person that is uh, you know, using the application in a day. And that is, is not how uh, it works here. Perspective has this whole layer of security that's right in front of all those protected resources. And when you establish that session, you are doing that, and we know who that person is, and we know what levels they have. Uh, we, we did that throughout, throughout federated identity providers, which we're going to go into more detail here. And so as they synchronize a value, if, if I was to want to try to write to a tag, that has to go through this layer to, on the server, check whether or not they are allowed to do that. And if not, it's rejected. There's no way for that browser session to be able to do that. So that's, that's one way we, where we can really restrict um, what, you know, what people are allowed to do and how that interacts with, with the server. Second is that there are also events that we want to respond to. So somebody may click on a, a button and we want to have, have it do some action, uh, or they may want to navigate. Um, or of course, we may have them upload a file. We want to know that the file is uploaded. And events are also sent to the server so that we can respond to those events uh, with, with various handlers and maybe go off and get data or do something with that. And so these two areas are very, very low risk. And as you can see, they're going through a TLS uh, you know, secure tunnel, essentially, so that there's no way that a bad actor there could inspect what's going on or inject something different uh, you know, or do, do something that's harmful in that way. And we're going to talk more about uh, TLS here in a moment. So the architecture, the way Perspective was built, really we thought about security from the very, very beginning. Um, and it, the, the most important thing is to protect these resources over here so that there's no way for a bad actor to be able to get access to that without going through these really secure layers and having these, um, you know, the verifications that are in place.